Welcome back everybody. 10% of senior students and 7% of junior students studied for at least five hours before test days for the final exams. If 25% of the total students are seniors, then what percentage of total students are juniors who studied less than five hours before test days? All right, everybody, the answer here is gonna be D. 75 times 93, all divided by 100. And here's how we know that. So we're looking for a percentage of total students that are juniors who studied less than five hours before test days. Okay, so look at this. We see here that 7% of junior students studied for at least five hours before test days. So we gotta you know, really pay attention here because this problem could throw us for a loop very quickly. But thankfully, we see that 7% of juniors studied for at least five hours. And if we're looking for less than five hours, well, that means that 93% of juniors studied for less than five hours. Because if 7% if did more or at least, then 93% studied less. So we have 93% of juniors uh, so far but remember, we're referring to the total number of students. So how are we going to take care of that? Well, notice this. We're given that right over here, 25% of the total students are seniors. That means that 75% are juniors. We can assume that we're only discussing juniors and seniors um, because we're not talking about sophomores and freshmen. So we have 75% are juniors. And this is of the total group. Now from here, we know that 93% of the 75% studied less than five hours. Look at that. So there's our answer right there. What percentage of the total students are juniors who studied less than five hours? We know that of all the students, 75% are juniors, and 93% of that 75% studied less than five hours. So there we go. All we have to do is compute this mathematical statement, and we are good. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we wanna keep it as a percent, so I'm gonna keep this here as a percent. Now, when we say of, so 93% of something, we're basically multiplying. So we have 93% times 75%. But this 93%, I'm gonna convert that into a decimal. That is 0 0.93 multiplied by 75%. Because again, I'm doing this because I wanna keep my answer in percent form. So in order to see what this is equivalent to in my answer choices, I notice that nothing is written as a decimal. So I'm gonna convert my decimal into a fraction out of 100. So that will be 93 out of 100, multiplied by 75%. Again, I'm keeping that percent there because I want to keep my units in percent. So with that said, that can be expressed as 93 times 75 all over 100. And it doesn't matter which way you write it. You can write it as 75 times 93 over 100. It's still the same exact thing. We still have D as the final answer. So I hope that made sense. Again, it's all about interpreting the English into math and then moving forward from there.